All right, what we're going to do is show how I'm going to get my music from Core Gadget on the iPad to the Mac in um, Game Boy Studio and make a ROM for a Game Boy. It can be played on the web, analog pocket, original hardware Game Boys, Game Boy Colors, all that. The point is I want to get my MIDI music over there. So how I'm doing that is I have a song here. In the Game Boy, there are four channels. There's the first two, so I have Lexington and uh, the Monopoly in there. So they're like bass, synth, uh, just noises, whatever. You heard it. The, the whole point is I have three different melody lines or arps or whatever. So the first channel on the Game Boy is a pulse wave, and the second channel, same thing, pulse wave. Third channel is wave. Fourth channel is for noise, sound, drums, whatever you want to call it. So the way I do it is I have four channels in Gadget, and then I'm gonna export the MIDI from it. I leave the London one blank because it's just much easier to go in and edit in a tracker afterwards, or, um, well yeah, in the tracker before we put it to a, f a mod file for the Game Boy. Now what all I'm doing here is exporting my standard MIDI file to the Files app. That's all four stems separately. There's one more step in, so you don't have to use Gadget, obviously, you could use any kind of DAW. So I'm gonna go over to another DAW, Cubasis. And I'm gonna show how I'm gonna change the instrument data in here so it doesn't affect the tracker. So we're gonna go new, and uh, we'll just say MIDI to mod tutorial. Sorry for the screen taps. Okay, I'm sure it's annoying. And start by deleting. What is on there? I'm gonna add a MIDI, and then I'm gonna to go to acoustic piano here. Nope, that's not what I do. I go to acoustic piano there, and change it to no instrument. Now, when I add the other MIDI, it should do the same thing. MIDI channel two, no instrument. MIDI channel three, no instrument. MIDI channel four, no instrument again. Okay, we have to have four channels, even though the fourth one is blank. And then to get the MIDI files in here, I just go to media and there's some way to import. Here we go, import files. And then I go to on my iPad, core gadget. It'll be the last four I did. So we have 12.37 PM, that's now, doot, 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 doot. And now these four will be added in here. Now I probably already have them in here. So they have a one, a three, a one, one behind it just to one, three, one, one, got it. Just so we know. And then we gotta go to our MIDI hub, my MIDI files. Is this where it's located? Date. There we go. Yep. 12.37 p.m. So now I'm gonna grab one of the melody tracks. That's the ARP. Track one. London will be track four. It's blank, so it's not even going to go in there. And then we have Monopoly track two, and then Lexington track three. Okay, so now we have three of the four channels in there. And just, again, they have to say no instrument. If they have piano data, it's going to mess things up in the tracker. So now I'm just going to go and export all this. Mix down create a mix down, make sure there's no exclude. So I want to exclude all effects. See, I can't even select any of these things. Normalize, I don't want any of that selected. So just MIDI, the name, start mix down. And then we're going to shove this over to my Mac via AirDrop and I'll meet you over there. All right, welcome to the Mac over here. And what we're going to do is first of all, open up the tracker. It's called Open MPT Tracker. So I have it on my desktop saved in a GB Studio file, Game Boy Studio file. And then I'm gonna go down to the EXE for open MPT tracker. I can put the files or where to get them in the description later, I'll do that. Um, it is a Windows file, I'm running Mac, so I'm gonna use this in Wine. Wine will run it similar to like an emulation. Um, the last video I did on this, I showed this with um, Parallels, so I was running an actual Windows 
on my Mac, but I chose just to go with Wine because it's this this program doesn't need much information and runs very smoothly through Wine. <clears throat> so I'm going to open that up, and it will install it every time. And fun fact, it opens up a new song every single time. Don't know why. Never heard this song. Before. Okay, and then what we're going to do is bring in a blank mod file. So I've already downloaded this. Um, there's a more specific YouTube video on how to do this with the file in it to a Google Drive. So I'll put a link to that in the description. And I will probably upload this to my own Google Drive so you guys can just download it from my page as well. It's a mod file. And the reason we're doing this is it automatically gives us the four channels for the Game Boy. And the first channel, and the instruments are in here too. So we'll have like a pulse wave for the first channel, and then a pulse wave for the second channel, a random waveform for the third channel, and then some kind of noise for percussion on the fourth channel. When we bring in a MIDI file, that's what we're going to do right now. First of all, let's bring in, we're going to go to append module. Now we need to bring in a MIDI file. And let's see, where's the MIDI file that we got today? It's not one of these. Desktop, documents, my computer. We're going to go downloads. And now we want to search for just MIDI only. And see what we got. This is the one from today, right? Eleven thirteen. That's today's date. Yep. Okay. That's the MIDI file we sent over here, and we import it in and right away. Too many channels, of course, because if you look, there's like ninety nine channels. We only want four because that's what we loaded into the file. So go to number five, channel number five. Go ahead and right click on that remove channel but you're gonna choose channels to remove it's gonna select most of them but you want to start at five so click on four and click five and hold and drag all the way down boom to 99 okay they're gone now we're back to just four Game Boy channels and then the first um, thing we want to do hold on I'm gonna get rid of this first pattern because there's no data there so in a tracker, this is still kind of like a MIDI note or a piano note, whatever. So B4, G5, C6, those are piano notes. However, it's, it, there's no instrument data because in Cubasis, we took out the instrument data. So it's a blank instrument. No sound will happen. So now we just go here, which so the first one's the note data, second one's the instrument. So all these are number five. Look, five, 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 means nothing. So I'm gonna hold down Control F on the keyboard and it pulls up a find replace. We want to change the instrument, so I'll select that. And that is uh, number five, instrument unused. So there's no piano sound, nothing there right now. It doesn't create anything. Now we're going to replace that with an instrument. So I'm going to go in only in channels, one to one, find the whole song, go to replace, choose instrument again. Definitely don't have volume or effect data check because it's all reason for not using an instrument. And then I'll choose instrument number one. And it's a pulse width, replace with all, boom. Now every single one on that channel is replaced with number one. So now we can listen to it and it should make a sound. And why is it not making a sound? This is weird. Why is that happening? Okay, let's do it for channel two. Let's see what happens. Control F, do, 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 channel two to channel two. Do the replace final song, replace with 70, let's just do, let's do 75%, replace. working why is this one not working channel one it doesn't really matter anyway I was just gonna try to play in the tracker but it doesn't really matter it should transfer over so we're gonna do control find for channel three 
two, channel three here. And we're going to this time we're going to do random waveform, replace, done. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't playing in the beginning, but now it is, so we're good. Okay, so we have four channels. We're gonna go here and save this as a mod file. And we're gonna call it mod mod midi midi mod mod midi or explanation for it. Okay, just so we know what it is and it's obvious. And we're saving the GB Studio file, done. Okay, so that is a mod file. Now we open up Game Boy Studio. We're gonna make a, we're gonna do a new project here. Create, we're gonna do blank. We're gonna call it MIDI mod. Mm -mm. So now we're in Game Boy Studio. First thing we have to do is go to this selection up here, and we're gonna to go to settings because we have to make sure that that mod file can play in here. It is set up for huge tracker right now, so we're gonna to switch to mod file. And then we're gonna go back over here to music, and we're gonna make sure that that file's in here so it'll play. So we're gonna go back to desktop, GBase Studio. This one here, drag it over. It's in there now. We go back to game world. We need to make some kind of scene here just to get it going. So this will play on the Game Boy. This here has an actor in here, which is an arrow. Um, so you just press the D-pad or up, down, left, right, whatever. It'll move the arrow around. Big deal. It's a game. It's the start of a game. What we want to do is make sure that this music plays. Mid file. There we go. And then go here and hit play, and it should populate an actual game. Yeah. Okay. I'll be there in one minute. Done. So we added a song to a Game Boy file. It's it's a ROM. When you hit play, that makes it a ROM. You could actually play it on Game Boy hardware now. So that is done. That was just showing how to do it. Obviously, you want to make more scenes and have more fun with the game play or if, you know, put some of your own images in the background. Uh, and I'll do that next. But I just want to show how to get the whole mod file in there and play it. And I got to go eat. My timer just went off for my fish. So thank you for watching and hope this helps.